Fred here, welcome back to your Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Barnes & Noble's Nook HD Plus 9-inch tablet, so stay tuned. First, let me start out by saying this is not a review. There are already a lot of reviews here on YouTube, and there are quite a few that are really good, so go ahead and check them out. What I'm here to tell you about is that I was walking through Target last weekend, and I, you know, I was looking for good deals and everything, things that I would like to bring to you, my viewers, and I had wondered by the, the tablets and everything, and I happened to come across the section where they have the Nook and the Kindle um, e-readers slash tablets, and it, something caught my eye, the Barnes & Noble's HD Plus, <laughs> which it's talking right now. Um, the the flagship model, which is the HD+, Plus, which is their 9-inch color e-reader slash tablet, was only $149 for the, the 16 gig and $179 for the 32 gig. And I'm like, I don't remember them being that low. What's what's going on? And apparently they're they're selling them out. Um, basically, Barnes & Nobles had put out uh, a couple of months ago that they were going to stop making their own tablets and they'll just have somebody else, probably like Asus or Acer or somebody, make their tablets for them. So they're getting out of the hardware business. So they are clearing out their inventory. And it, it's just amazing because less than a year ago, these tablets um, were, let me see, the 16 gig was selling for about 2 I want to say 269, 279, and the 32 gig was 300 dollars. So it's like a, I don't know, about a 44 percent reduction. I did my math. Um, actually, I just <laughs> glanced at it on our web page a little while back. But I mean, th this is absolutely an incredible price and i'm sure as the days go by you're going to see some other really good deals especially on those one deal a day sites matter of fact when i was leaving work because i had to tell everybody at work about this great deal um someone had said that they found on one of those one deal a day sites at uh one of these for 109 dollars so let's go ahead and take a quick look again this is not a review i'm just going to go ahead and go over with you some of the the specification and some of the things that you could do to get around some of the the limitations of this device let's look at the box and uh oh where's the tablet <laughs> i'm sorry i've been using this thing for a couple of days i just wanted to show you how cool that box was how it sort of came up but the tablet was in here and the power supply and the cable was in there along with a quick start guide but um sorry folks i uh this is not an unboxing and i love to play with the technology as soon as it comes in the gear obsession door anyway here it is the uh, let me uh, do something about the lighting a little bit. I had to sort of dial back the the brightness while I had that white box here. So let's go ahead and crank it up just a hair. Now, um, this this is a case that I had picked up. So your that this was not included, but I like to put my expensive electronics into um, geek condoms. I don't know whatever you want to call these things cases. So here it is. And this is the stock setup that you get with the the Nook. You got the little thing, little pull down, and it tells you your weather and books and recommendations and things like that. You get this little carousel where you could pick apps, and of course you got your magazines, and you could put icons and widgets on the desktop if you wish. Wish. And again, the main thing about these things is they are excellent <laughs> book readers. Um, really really good now um i did mention that this thing had some problems don't mind that I'll, I'll, I'll explain this here in a minute this thing had some limitations and those limitations are no camera no camera front or back none whoops <laughs> by the way profile is really good especially if you got kids um the other thing about this that it does not have is a GPS. So if you're looking for an inexpensive tablet, a great deal on a tablet, and 
you you want a GPS or you want a camera, then this is probably not the deal for you. But if those things aren't important, like if you're just going to use this primarily indoors, you're not really going to use the camera or the um, the GPS anyway. So and that improves battery life. I mean, the battery life of this thing is about you know nine hours because you got less electronic crap in there, but it's still not great. And one of the reasons why is this huge display. Now, I can't do this display any justice, but this is a 1920 by 1280 pixel display. That is absolutely incredible, especially for the going price of the 16 gig model here of 149. And and that's why I just, you know, impu I impulse buy this. I had to absolutely get it. Also, this is very light for a tablet this size. I found it um, incredible that it's just 18 ounces. Because um, I'll tell you, to be honest, I have a 10-inch a tablet sort of this way. And um, it was the first tablet I bought. And quite frankly, it was large and it was heavy. And I, I ended up not using it too much. And then I bought a 7-inch Nexus. But my eyes are getting kind of old. It's hard to see. And um, I need something a little bit bigger. So this has an incredible display. You're not going to find anything out there right now with, with near... You know, this is like retina apple retina type of screen here as far as the uh, pixels per inch that you're getting on here it i just can't do it justice now the other limitations is this stock interface which it's it's really not that bad but a lot of people want to buy a tablet and they want a more normal android type of display well we can fix that all we have to do is download a launcher because a couple of months ago, Nook um, finally caved in because they had their interface locked down and they didn't have the Google Store. They didn't have um, any ability to install launchers and, and do and, and give access to the whole all the apps in the Google Store is what I'm trying to say. So you go to the Google Store, download a launcher. I put the Go Launcher HD on here. So now I could give it a nice... H, you know, Google type, you know, stock Android interface that that's really just beautiful widgets, everything, all the all the normal kind of stuff. Now you still have the the older. I don't think it's Jelly Bean or the newest Jelly Bean, and you're not going to get too many um, new updates because they're abandoning the the hardware. So don't expect anything as far as updates too much longer. And the new one, the new uh, Nook, I can't talk today and I apologize. The new Nook that's being produced by some other company is going to be coming out. And all the intention will go there. So, now for option number three. And here it is. If you head on over to the XDA developer website, you will find ROMs, firmware updates for this that um, you could put stock Android. Now, I really don't want to go into that, and I know most of my viewers here are not really interested in the whole rooting and hacking and all that good stuff. So there's a, another option. There is a website called N2A. I'm going to put the website below, so don't you know you don't have to write it down. But the website is N. 2acards.com and for $20 you can download an image and you could put it on a one of these little SD cards these tiny little uh, what do they call them micro yeah micro SD cards really small and I, I had bought a, a 16 gigger and by the way they recommend SanDisk and they also recommend that it's a class 4 class 6 because the others will be either too fast or too slow as far as read write but you can put this into here and boot off it because this thing has an SD slot down here. You just take this little thing. I'm not going to do it here because I don't want to make this video too long. But you could pop this out. You could put this little SD card in there and you could boot off it and boot a stock, you know, Nexus 7 style um, stock Android Jelly Bean OS on this thing off the card and it runs just as fast it's really incredible all the options you get of course if you are a hacker you could go to the xda developers website which you're probably well aware of and download the roms for the uh, nook hd plus 
Now let me see if I covered everything. I did want to go over quickly just a couple of the other specs so you know what you're getting here. This is a 1.5 uh, dual core processor. I think it's a Texas Instruments pro processor. It is last year's speed. You know, don't expect cutting edge stuff here. Don't expect, you know, it's not a quad core. Um, there is a headphone jack here. You got the uh, power. You got the volume rocker on this thing and again you got the sd and you got a power supply now this doesn't use the the micro hd type it has a proprietary uh power plug on the bottom which also bites but it's all right and and standard i think it's a two amp uh power supply but man this this is a good deal folks and it's not going to be around too much longer so do I recommend it? You you bet you. I mean, I got one here myself. I've been using the crap out of this. I love it. The audio. Oh, that's a, that's another little Debbie Downer here. Uh, on the back. I'll go ahead and pick this up. You can see here, there's only one speaker right there. Again, this is the case over here. So it doesn't have stereo speakers, but still, I'll tell you, the sound really is loud. And it's, it's pretty incredible. It's a lot better than my um, Nexus 7. Now I don't want you to think I'm pulling your leg about uh, how easy it is to just load a different ROM on this particular device. So I'm going to go ahead and open the little slot here which can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and slide the card in. Now again uh, N2A you uh, just you can easily for $19 just download a program and then the program will basically just put install itself onto this little uh, micro SD card you just stick it in there and then you hit the power button it boots up off a very well known groups uh, Android ROM um, oh you gotta press and hold the button okay so you get your, your little nook thing and then you can see it says uh, cyano boot which is the universal bootloader for the uh, Cyano mod. I, I can't remember the name of the group, but you people who, who do all the mods and, and stuff and hacking know what I'm talking about. Um, it, it takes a while for it to boot up, of course. But again, it, it does just as fast as if you're booting off the internal memory with the standard ROM. It really is incredible. So... Uh, check it out i'll put the website below if you don't if you don't want to download the program and buy a separate card and go through all that trouble you could just buy the card with the stupid crap installed right on it starting at 29 dollars uh, the price sort of changes depending on the um the size card that you get but uh I'm not going to, th this is just an informative video. I'm not going to explain to you how to do that. Don't ask me because I don't have time to go through all this stuff, but um Again, boots up into, uh, you know, I, I already put my own background and stuff on it, but it is a regular Android uh, Jelly Bean OS. Really incredible. You got the Google Store and, and all that Google love right there. It, it's, uh, it really is incredible. And for the unbelievable low price of 149 for the 16 gig, um, uh, I'm telling you, uh, I stopped everything and I did this video instead of doing what I originally planned on doing um, because I, I want you all to get a good deal before they're all gone. Thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber. Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Barnes & Nobles. Okay, have a great weekend. Take care.